All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by. So uh, today I'm going to talk about my past projects, basically my failed projects, I guess you could say. Um, things that I've started in the past that have maybe been running for a bit, but then stopped or have never started at all. So I guess we'll just jump right into it and see what we got. I have quite a bit of failed projects, I'll be honest. So. Okay, here we go. So I think you should be able to see my screen now, so that's great. So here's my retired projects. So a rare report Canada is was like a break off of Missing Report Canada. And so Missing Report Canada is something that is not one of my retired projects, so it's still running today. And what a rare report Canada, which is actually a hard thing to say. Um this is something I started back in probably twenty seventeen if not 2018 and what it would have been is a website where you can subscribe to push notifications about uh, weather updates like uh, severe weather warnings uh, missing people um, amber alerts as well um, any like uh, people that were recently re released from prison uh, in the near vicinity uh, dangerous people that had just recently moved to the city, things like that, anything that you would want to be aware of on a daily basis. Um, I would have, there would have been multiple divisions, like, so throughout Canada, every province would have its own aware report, so like Alberta aware report, British Columbia aware report, etc. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, Flissen, this was going to be a website with Just fucking listen to what we have to say, please. <laughs> so this was going to be like a website where there would be one question, one poll or question on the front page. You would just go to flisten.com um, and then you would answer the poll or question. And then my hope was that a lot of people, hopefully hundreds of thousands of people would answer these questions every day, eventually. And this flisten.com would be like a very reliable source to get like answers to questions that people really want answers to. Um, it's like an easy way to get answers from people across the entire country about topics of all kinds. Um, mostly controversial topics. But yeah. So yeah, today's poll. Yeah, there was a poll about uh, Justin Trudeau. I forget exactly what it was at this point. Listen, it was in 2018, I think, and it never became a thing. Like, it was a website for a bit, and then I just gave up on it. Uh, lost or missing animal report. Later changed it to missing animal report. And that's another break off of um, missing report Canada. Uh, so it would have been basically the same thing as missing report, but for animals. So dogs, cats, and reptiles, anything else that's gone missing. We'd make reports for them, posters, and then we would spread it across uh, social media. Uh, that never became a thing because I never figured out a way how to get people, how to get yeah, people to like submit the information and a photo of the missing animal. And then like what I wanted was to create a form on a website where you would just fill out the form, upload your photo, and then you would hit submit. And then automatically, with magic, a poster would be created using my layout. Like I would design the layout to automatically create this poster, but unfortunately I never figured out how to do that. I know it's possible because other websites do it, but I don't know how to... I don't know what they're doing to, to make that possible. So, if I was able to do that, the entire problem would be solved. Even for a missing report account. That would, that would solve so many problems if I can get posters automatically created using the template that I want, that I create using Photoshop, and then it automatically fills in the blanks using the info that was filled in by people. So yeah, that's why Missing Animal Report never became a thing. And if you go down here, it says Lost Pet Report, and I think, I don't know why I have two different folders, but this was the exact same thing. I just changed the name once again. So Alberta Lost Pet Report. I think this was, I think this was actually an older name. Yeah, this was the first name. So that's an example poster that would have been created. And so, 
that's what I want. Um, so this would be the city every time. So I would wish for like somebody to fill out a form on the website and just type in the city, type in if it's a canine or a feline or et cetera, dog's name, whatever, everything. And they would auto fill in, in this poster online. Like I know it's possible. So if anybody knows how to do that and you can shoot me in the right direction, that would be amazing. Or if I can like pay you to code that, that would be mind blowing. Not for thousands of dollars though. So, but anyway, so yeah, that never became a thing, unfortunately. Um, okay, we're going to move on to the next one, which would be a rare report again. Oh, I guess I could show you more graphics. No, see, there's not really any more graphics because I never took off. Another, another example poster, kind of the same layout as the other ones, but oh, here's actually a screenshot of the website. That's cool. So I did have the website up for a bit and I think I might have put a few things up, but that's about it. So yeah, since, so 2017 is when I started the site and, uh, so yeah, it's not up anymore, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, there you can see, so Amber Alerts, Danger, Most Wanted, Police, Prison Escape, Sexual Offenders, Weather. So that's the kind of things that you would be notified through Google Chrome push notifications. So you can sign up to those on your computer and on your on your mobile device. So, and I use that for multiple of my other websites and it's amazing. Thousands of people subscribe to these push notifications and it's, it's a big deal. So now the next one is uh, big fucking news. <laughs> uh, this was an idea I just, I was gonna make it, it was just basic. It's just a, a news website about anything very major, I guess. Um, it never took off, I never even started. Like, I think I did buy a domain. I think it was like BFN dot something. But I don't even think I released one story on that. So almost useless to have that there. But that was back in like 2015, maybe. So that's a much older project. Um, but I guess it's just good to have, good to have for memories of all my field projects. <laughs> all right, next one. This is not really a project. Uh, CDFA, Canadian Dash Cam Footage Association. As you can see, that was back in 2015. And it was actually just a YouTube page, so it wasn't really a project. Well, yeah, I guess. But back when I had a vehicle, I no longer have a vehicle. Uh, maybe it was repossessed about 10 to 12 months ago or something. No, something like that. But uh, so yeah, I had a dash cam and every time something interesting would happen or an accident or something or a close call, I would record that and save it and then make a video about it, put it all together in a compilation, 10 to 15 things, release a video. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, I'm pretty sure the uh, YouTube page still exists for that, uh, maybe, or Facebook page as well, I can't remember. Anyways, 2017, Call Me Watch, well that was just a different name for uh, Aware Report, so yeah, Trusted Community Watch and Advisory Report, oh no, this was something else, wow, so many ideas, a reliable local online community watch and information board, no yeah, this was, Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this was exactly the same thing as Aware Report, these ones here. It was just a different name. So that it started off as commu.watch. That was the website too, www.commu.watch. But I changed it to aware.report. Next one we have is Cool AF, and that stands for Cool as Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's empty. I do have a page open here for it. So this is actually the Facebook page, and actually, that's how, actually, I think there was a website. I think it was cool.af, yeah. Yeah, it was too. Um, so yeah, this was back in 2014. Um, 554 likes, that's not too good. Um, well, I didn't do it for a long time, again. So, entertainment website, as you can see. So, what it was is anything that I thought that was cool, I would post it. Anything that I thought was cool that you would want to buy for a cheap, like a cheapish price, nothing crazy. And so that's basically all it is. Let's see, the world is full of innovation. There are things that you want that you don't even know exist. Yeah, see, let us show you what you may have been missing out on. So this is a bad place. This is a bad page to like if, well, it would have been if you wanted to like save up on money because I would post a lot of cool things that you'd want to buy. Um, so yeah, a few examples. This is uh, the coolest cooler. You might've heard of that. That's a really viral pro product. Um, what is this? Bluetooth probably speakers or something. Um, 
that would have been cool in 2014. That's no longer like a like big deal at all today. But <laughs> these, I thought these were cool. The nice black cards. Um, these are dumbbells. Really nice looking dumbbells. Look, they fold together like that. Not fold, but uh, intertwine. So just really nice, cool things. Here's a magnetic egg, I guess, that keeps all your shit together. This is a little mini shopping cart. Or no, this is uh, shopping cart bags, my bad. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's enough of cool as fuck. Let's move on to next. What we got next? So yeah, that was back in 2014. Not This is the wrong date here. Don't look at that date. It's not always correct. Edmonton Talks Deals. This was a different idea that I had off of Edmonton Talks News, which is a website that I did run for quite a while. And it's actually still up and running, but I don't... I haven't released a story on it in quite some time. Um, yeah, here we go. So I'll go to this one real quick. So this is edmonton.talks.news. And it's my news website. Um, it's Edmonton because I'm located in Edmonton, Alberta. And so yeah, I wrote stories about all kinds of stuff. If you scroll here, fire activity, weather, sports, accidents, first look, fun and weird, gas price notices. I did tons and tons and tons. There's hundreds of articles on here. Oh, and quick shout out to DYK Post right here. These two, they sponsored me on four of my websites. See here, shout out Edmonton. Uh, Alberta Missing Report, see here, DYK. And uh, yeah, so I just want to quickly say shout out to uh, DYK Post. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for sponsoring me like uh, on my websites here. And uh, keep up the great work. Uh, if you guys don't know about DYK Post, they're not paying me to do this or anything. But um, if you live in Alberta, DYK Post, incredible service. Um... I sell on Poshmark in the USA, and if I were to ship my clothing, which I sell clothing and accessories, so if I were to ship that through Canada Post, it'd probably be like 20, 30 bucks or something, um, because I ship, I only, I only sell to the US, not to Canada. So, and even Canada is horrible for Canada Post. But, so yeah, if you're sell, if you plan on like starting selling on Poshmark in the US, or anywhere on the, anywhere in the US. Uh, look into DYK Post if you live in Edmonton or Calgary or Red Deer or anywhere Lethbridge. They got a bunch of locations. Ch check their website, dykpost.com. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there because that's enough of that. That was a nice little shout out for them there. So yeah, it's all organized by topics here. Some of these stories did phenomenally. Um, if you look here, this one here was shared 21,000 times. This uh, story I wrote about Jollibee opening up in Edmonton a couple years ago or something. 10,000 shares on that one. A couple thousand there. So yeah, anyways. So that's going to be Edmonton Talks News. Don't have to talk about that one again. So Edmonton Talks Deals would have been basically a website for Edmontonians to, I guess, I guess it was to share deals. Like, what is the tagline? So yeah, these are, these are, there's no tagline. Okay, well. So yeah, it just, it would have been a website to uh, share deals or something. I can't even quite remember, to be honest. Um, something like that. Next one, fucking inspire me. <laughs> I went, I ran this one for a little bit. Not, not, not even a year, but. Um, so what it was is actually it's on Facebook as well. So that's what it was on Facebook. Okay, where are we here? Here we go. So inspiring the masses every damn day. It was the website was fucking inspire me dot m e. Oh, sorry, fucking inspire dot m e. Anyways, it's enough swearing. Uh, so yeah, this was back in 2016, as you can see here. So what I did was I created posters. Now the thing is, I didn't create the, I didn't take the photos, so that's that's my bad. That's like that's no good on my part. But I would create these posters, and then I would put the inspiring quotes on them. And so I'm pretty sure I made a couple hundred or something like that all together. And so they're really eye-catching and like. I really liked doing this, but I wouldn't even mind printing some of these and having like a map, three or four of them in a row kind of deal or something. <laughs> Anyways, praising my own work, what kind of bullshit? <laughs> the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Not tomorrow, not the next day, not next week, not not, not next year. Don't wait, don't wait till fucking New Year's fucking day to like change your shit either. Never, never wait till a certain day to do something, please. Unless you're like forced to, you know. Like, celebrate every day, you know. Um, the most common way people give up 
their powers by thinking they don't have any. So, right? So don't think that you're like less off than somebody else. Well, you could be in certain ways, but don't think like your mind, like the power of your mind, not, not, not financially. I'm not talking, you know, in financial state, I'm talking the power of your mind. You can learn just as much as anybody else, and you can be as good as anybody else at something if you just put the time into it, into what you want to do. Anyways, I'm getting all uh, inspirational here on my fucking inspirational page here. What is the next on the list? These are the last. Oh, yeah, okay, anyway. Humans kick ass back in 2016. I basically just made this never lasted either, so that's yeah, just a very basic level for this one. I didn't put too much work into this one, did I? So yeah, humans kick ass. I made a few posters. So again, inspirational. <laughs> those will be cool to have all four of those printed out on, in, a, in a row because they're all like the exact same size and just different colors and shit okay but uh yeah so that never basically that, that would have been a website for inspirational stuff like that as well as links to videos of people doing inspiring things which there was some um didn't last too long either uh, but it was an actual website and i think it had a facebook too um i need this in my life um oh that's just the cool af cool as fuck page it used to be called, I need this in my life. Okay, I see. Um, and that was back in 2014. Yeah, we need that already. Okay. Next is I'm Jody. And that, that was just a, a blog website. Um, <laughs> that's as basic as you get. Just your average Joe. Oh, there you go. That's very... Wow, look at that, eh? Okay. So, yeah, that's no longer a thing. I've had, like, five, six different blog websites, different domains. They just I just keep letting them expire because I just keep not updating them anymore and i decide oh i'm gonna go back to making blogs again they buy a new domain and it just doesn't last me more than a couple months and it's another waste of money so fuck okay recording still yeah all right we're getting there jody's thought of the day this wasn't a website but this was just a facebook this was nothing this was just something i was creating and posting on my facebook profile just my my own facebook profile um I got four made. So you can pause if you want to read any of these, but there's the next one. I don't even know what they say anymore. These are back in 2017, as you can see, top right. So yeah, those are the four that I made. And that was it for that, back in 2017. Was, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, we checked that. Snappy News was another one that I was I was proud of this one and I wish I continued it and tried harder. I really should have tried harder. Um, I think there was like four, five, six, six, seven people that jumped on board with me once the websites were created and uh, we were creating stories together and just releasing short stories. Uh, it was called Snappy.News was the website and the name and uh, there was different divisions. Looks like you can see them here. Yeah. So there was a lot of divisions but so Snappy News Canada, USA, UK, Australia, World, Funny, Inspiring, Shameful, Tech, Sports, Entertainment, Science, Food, Gaming, Health, and Arts. Whew. So I made all these websites, and like I think about half of them had writers, and we were writing stories. Um, Snappy News Canada was the most uh, popular one, but none of them took off because they didn't last long enough. Um, so, um, but I wished... I wish I put more work into this because I was really happy about how it was going. Um, it was growing very slowly though, like very slowly, so nobody was getting paid any money because it was paid by percentage or something and there was no money coming in. Like, I'm pretty sure I, was, yeah, I'm pretty sure I put like $25 into the, into the theme that I bought because I, it was a beautiful theme, nice simple basic theme for a nice simple um news like these were news websites how many of them 16 <laughs> that's one thing that i have a problem with i'm gonna get into that later if i remember um but i forgot what i was talking about so i might as well get into it now 
one thing that I had a problem with is when I create a, a new idea, I like to expand like crazy too quickly, way too quickly with a bunch of divisions. Everything I do, I always seem to create divisions. Shadow Canada divisions, missing report divisions, snapping use divisions. But I think divisions are a good thing when you have a, because you don't want to have like just one snappy news and then no you don't because then there's like too many subdivisions where's my hand i don't know how i'm going to show you there's too many subdivisions i can show you. i use my hand my mouse like for canada there can be like all right i'm done all right we're done with snappy news what else we got here i was really liking the graphics i was coming up with like look at that i really like that I like the angle, I like the top of the font. Wow. Um, I guess that's it there. Here's a couple featured images that were used on stories. I think Snappy News Canada, yeah. So this was the template. Well, this is actually one of the featured images, but this is what the template looks like. So Snappy News Canada, or whatever division it was, would be down here at all times. Tap here to, to view. And then we have that. And then a couple sentences, one or two sentences fit right here with the most important information highlighted in a color. That would be the same as down here. So. That was a good one. But yeah. So I really like that. Like I, oh, I miss Snappy News. I wish Snappy News was still a thing. I'm gonna be honest. If I could bring any project back, it would be that one. So. Oh, and I even have the website. Look at this. I forgot. So I brought this up before the, the show, before I started this recording. So way back machine, I brought it up. See, CA was the Canada division. CA dot Snappy dot News. And so, this is the layout. It's so beautiful. Nice and smooth. And so Brittany, Cla Brittany Leclerc, she's she's helped me with so many projects. Like she's she's been amazing. Shout out to Brittany if you're watching this. Probably not, but <laughs> so yeah, yeah. There's all the divisions again. Um, look at all these stories she wrote. You can't click on any of them because it's the Wayback Machine. You can see 2017. This website no longer exists, so like the links don't work. But yeah, there's all the uh, stuff. All the divisions going through here. So yeah, that's snappy news. All right, next one, star them. This one is another one that I wish I can actually have created. This is a, this is a project that I uh, came up with um, seven years ago. Um, so that would be what, 2012? Yeah, around there, 2012, I guess. Um, basically, it would have been kind of like a YouTube, but only for talent. So only talent related videos. Um, you would have to be recording yourself, doing something that you think you are talented of. You know what I'm saying? And then there'd be competitions of you trying to do better than somebody else at something. Now I don't know if that was gonna make it to the final, but that was part, that that might've been something. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, on the front page, you would have seen all the top videos for all, like all the talented people of that day, the most voted, the mo mo most voted voted videos of that day sorry um and all the uh, different topics or whatever but yeah start them uh, i have the facebook page open i think or something oh i paid somebody to create a video so this kind of explains what star them was look zero likes this was back in 2013 look at that this is my old account so this is not even mine but anyway star them Now, you may be asking yourself, Star who? Am I right? Well, the answer to your question is, well, you. Yes, you. You and the many talented people of the world. Have you ever wanted to broadcast your hidden talent to the outside world, but just couldn't figure out the best way to go about doing this? Well, your question has finally been answered. Now, you could try YouTube or one of the many other video streaming websites available to you, but none of them are focused on talent alone. So it's to be expected that your hidden talent would stay just that, hidden. This is where Star Them comes in. Star Them is an online talent sharing community for the world. If you have a talent in dancing, singing, 
comedy, story design, magic, or something on it. Star them is your answer to Star Them. It takes just three minutes to register an account. Once you've become a member of the Star Them community, you can then upload your own talent, or comment, vote, and share the talent of the many others out there. There's so much more Star Them has to offer, but we don't want to take too much of your time, so pay close attention. Cash prizes, monthly contests, bloopers, I can do better. Enthusiasm badges, star titles, star them kids, movie mode, social media integration, dark and light themes. Star them. Express your talent. Coming soon, 2013. Summer 2013, my ass. Here we are, November 2019. There's, there's fuck all. Um. So yeah, so that video I paid somebody hundreds of dollars to create that, including the I think I wrote up what I wanted them to say. I think they kind of changed it. I think, but um, yeah, they did a voiceover and then they made the video and also somebody different made the logo. I sent them the, the video people the logo and put, they put it in the video, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I put in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into this. Star them. Um, I spent <clears throat> I spent over a thousand dollars on star them. Um, it, oh look, yeah, this is, uh, these are four different things, they spent many hours creating these uh, different documents here, company profile, financial projections, mass printing info, and e-commerce info, these are all multiple, multiple pages long. Um, so yeah, here's the Facebook web, web Facebook page. So I was just posting like talent related videos from YouTube at just to get the page growing like 176. So yeah, just posting talent related videos. And then so back in 2013. And then here's when I figured out that it would cost thirty five thousand dollars. If you watch my previous video I did say seventy two thousand or something like that. Um I don't know where I, I I think it was I think it ended up being more than thirty five thousand in the end, so even that's crazy. I, I could never spend thirty five thousand to get somebody to make a website for me. There's no chance. Like if I had thirty five grand there's so many different things that I'd put it towards like <laughs> pay rent for like a year. Anyway. Cause I pay I, I live almost paycheck to paycheck here, so <laughs> so there's no way. Um but yeah. So yeah, there's the that's a nice cover photo there. There's the logo. Express your talent. So it was a website. Uh, I don't know what was on the website because I didn't complete the the template at all. But this then never this never released is what I'm trying to say actually, and, and it never released. So there we can see some of the. You see. Some of the website layout that I created. Like, look, I even made a little profile, like a little drop down when you click on the, on the profile image. You, you'd be ranked. You'd have ranks um, down here at the bottom left. You can even see, like, you would gain experience points when you do certain things. I made it look all like professional here. Like, there's the sign up page. What else we got? This was a pamphlet that I designed. That was my business card. This is the front, that's the back. That turned out really nice. Wow, that's a nice business card. <laughs> All right, that's about it, I guess. See, that's like a way back machine for me. That is some interesting stuff to look back at. Cool, okay, right, that's enough about that. What else we got next? Is it still recording? Yeah? How long is this video? Does it say? 33 minutes. Decent. Wow. Okay. We're almost done. The Talk of News. Oh, this is uh, Edmonton Talk of News, so I already showed you guys. It just used to be called The Talk of News. The Talk of News. Or The Talk of Edmonton in the end. Um, and then I was going to create a second one, The Talk of Edmonton. I mean, Toronto. The Talk of Toronto. But it never became a thing. But I created a couple. <laughs> I created the Facebook page probably, and that's about it. And so it was called the Talk of Toronto, but the, the link was toronto.talks.news. And so that's the same thing for the Edmonton one. And so it used to be called the, the Talk of Edmonton, but because the URL was edmonton.talks.news, 
I changed the entire thing to Edmonton Talks News. So this one would have been called T Toronto Talks News, but it never got released in 2016. It never happened. Um, so that's probably when I started at Edmonton Talks News. 2016. What was that? What was that? I just looked at it and even said it. 2016? Yeah, 2016. Wow. For some reason, I didn't feel like it was 2016 because that's like far. That's a long time ago. So yeah, 2016, I started Edmonton Talks News. The Uber life. This was back when I was an Uber driver. I decided to create a website for Uber drivers <laughs> to help us with anything and everything. News. Mostly, it was mostly news. It was just going to be news. Uh, there was some facts I created. I like to do facts pages because I also have a uh, a website for Poshmark resellers, and I have 50 facts on there for that niche. So if you're a Poshmark seller, you should check that out. Posher Club. P O S H E R dot C. I can even just show you since I'm showing you all my projects. What am I even doing? Here? So, here's another one of my projects, Posher.club, or Posher Club, the number one Poshmark knowledge hub. Um, so what it is, is it was going to be news. There is some news, but I stopped writing news. But uh, there's some news. Just my introduction there. Too many ads. Oh my goodness. These are like auto-added by Google AdSense, too. Um, so that's my, there's some YouTube videos of mine. My YouTube video, my YouTube channel, believe it or not, used to be just 100% Poshmark reselling videos. That is no longer the case whatsoever. Whatsoever. One of my next videos is going to be me learning how to play the piano from scratch to my first 100 hours. And I'm going to show you guys the progression of how I did in the first 100 hours. Right now, there's my piano right there. I just bought it from Amazon like two, three, two weeks ago. And I'm about six or seven hours in, about six hours in at this point, and the amount it's crazy how much better I am in six hours. A hundred hours is going to be just insane. I look forward to a hundred hours. So yeah, th this is my Poshmark website. So Poshmark Facts here, I'll show you that right away. Most popular page on my, on this website. People are coming f from google.com searching whatever. I said no the first time. Um, <laughs> those are the push notifications right here down the bell. These are the push notifications for Google, Google Chrome. Um, so if you click on that, on any of my websites, basically, you will sign up to the push notifications anytime every, anything goes new, anything, any new news or a post is made, you will be notified. You will be notified on your phone or on your Google Chrome with a little pop-up. I'm sure most of you know what those are by now. Sorry, okay, so, so yeah, this was 50 facts. I even organized it by general, for buyers, and for sellers. You can just click buyers brings you straight down to the buyers and those are just for buyers click it gives you all the details there's even some pictures in some of them so yeah that's my thank you card well it used to be my thank you card i'm no longer with kim so there's that so yeah that's posture club And so that was also the Uber life. And so these are some posters that I made for the Uber life, actually. Oh, I think this was like the first version. Yeah, this is the final version. So this is a poster I made for Uber drivers and uh, Uber. Oh yeah, and then I made a different one for, yeah. How to rate your Uber rider. How to rate your Uber driver. <laughs> some people like this, some people did not like this. If it was today, I would never create this kind of thing, but it was interesting. It was cool. A lot of people liked it, but some people did not like it. No. It was just an idea for, you know, it was not, it was nothing, like nothing set in stone for when you're, when you're raiding your Uber driver or anything. Nothing setting, nothing is set in stone. It was just like a, an idea, like a template that you, you could use if you wanted to. I just made it and just, I don't know. It was just for my Uber life website, which is longer, I think. And then the final one is Touch Podium, which is also empty. And this one, I went also back to the Wayback Machine. As you can see, touchpodium.com. This is my website. And it stopped creating in 2010 was the last post I created. 
and he was created in January of 2008. Guys, that's 11 years ago. That's almost 12 years ago. That's almost 12 years ago. This is my first website. It's not my first website. I had another one. Oh, I wonder. One second, I just thought of something else. I had a website before this one as well. But I don't think... Oh, it wasn't .com. I'm never going to remember it. I had a website called Halo Evo. But I have no idea what the... .tk? No, I don't want to support you right now. I used this service like once a decade. It's the first time I used this service in like... A decade. No. I don't think it, no, that won't work without it. Oh, oh, DeviantArt, that's my DeviantArt. <gasps> CJB.net, are you, 2003? Okay, no, it didn't work, loading? No, it didn't work. <laughs> 2005? Okay, I'll try the other one, wait, this might work. Wait, no, dude, <gasps> Gamers Riot? That's another one of my game, my websites. Are you kidding me? The Riot Network. That's another one of my websites. Are you kidding? Hey, that didn't work. None of those worked. Oh. What kind of bullshit is that? Why didn't that work? Okay. Alright, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay, go back, not 2019, it would have to be way back, 2005. Okay, I don't think that's working, let's try 2004. Oh, we're getting somewhere, it's got some files. Let's go 2004. Oh, uh, none of the files are loading. This was back in the day when I created websites using Photoshop, where every piece of the, f of the layout was an image. Ah, oh, and there's no, that was the last one. Alright, so that didn't work. Wait. Let's try the CJB one. Why can't I... Website's loading slowly. There you go. Ah, oh, that didn't work. It looked like it was working. Wait, it didn't even put my website. What? What is it doing? What is it doing right now? Why is it just redirecting? You know what? You suck. Looks like we're not going to be seeing Halo Evil, my first website. And basically what it was, uh, was just, what was it? It was just all about games at the time, because this was like 2002, 3, 2003? Yeah. 15 years ago or something? No, more than that. Wow. That's a long time. Um, Halo Evo. So yeah, basically it was just my two favorite things at the time. I enjoyed playing the first Halo game. And I was really into the Mitsubishi Evolution uh, vehicle. And so that became my username for everything at the time for a few years. And then finally I changed it to something else. And then now it's just my name. So... Halo Evo. But yeah, Touch Podium. So yeah, 2008. I created this with a friend of mine in Toronto, Eric March. Uh, I forget where we met, but it was like, it was online only. And I finally did meet him once, and that was cool. But just the one time, and then we worked together on this website for a couple years. And what it is, is it, it was news about the iPod Touch, because that was the thing at the time. And then we started writing news about the iPhone. Is that eventually came out while this website was running still for a couple years and then eventually we wanted to create the Podium Network and then we even created the Android Podium and then Frapster, the free app store review, that was another website that he was running in the network and then there's big, big freaking news right there new, 
that was part of the network, but that never became a thing either. So yeah, Touch for OEM, though, that was, this one did all right for us. Um, hundreds and hundreds of articles, I'm sure, and um, a couple of years running, and uh, we managed to get over a million hits a year for this website. So that was really cool. It was a f of course, this was the first website I ever managed to get over a million hits a year. Um, and that was like, that was like 100% through Google, basically, like pretty much. I'm pretty sure everybody was coming in through Google, so that was fantastic. So, yeah. And so, yeah. The, so the two, the two things that I'm running right now are Shadow Canada. So this is the Shadow.club, this is the Shadow Canada website. And it's just the main hub for all the divisions for Shadow. Shout out Edmonton, shout out Sudbury, those are the two that are running daily. And then shout out Toronto, Vancouver, and Calgary, they, they're creating. They got the Facebook page, the Twitter page, the, the website, it's all up and running. But there's not enough users on them where they're getting uh, daily posts submitted. So they're, they're just not, they're just not running. They're just stale. So these two are running daily, so. So yeah, this is the shout out Edmonton website where everything gets submitted. So people just go here to submit a new post, and then they get this submission form that'll load right there. They fill it in quickly. It doesn't take long. Hit submit, and then I approve it. Once I approve it, it gets scheduled throughout the day, between seven and nine, seven a.m. and nine p.m. or something like that, and then it gets posted on the website, Facebook, Twitter, and so yeah, that's what this is. You get to say anything you want to the city of Edmonton and without any names, so it's anonymous. And then the same thing for Shadow at Sudbury. And then the last one I'm showing you is Missing Report Canada. And so there's uh, seven or eight divisions across the country. And so there, there they are there, yeah, there's eight. And so every, every province and territory is covered. And what I do is I create missing persons reports and these posters. So this is what I mean when I wish I had like a thing where I can just type in the info on the website in the form, hit enter, and a poster is automatically created. I know it sounds weird, but I know it's possible too. You just have to have things set perfectly where you want them and then it just creates it. But I just don't know how to do it, unfortunately. But yeah. And so these also get shared to social media, all to uh, local groups on Facebook, etc and try to get the word out about missing people as quickly as possible. So yeah, there's Alberta and this is British Columbia. And so, that is it. That was it. Those are all my retired projects. From like 2003, was it? All the way to like, just last year, even this year. Well, I got some running this year still, so. But yeah, so quite a few retired projects. I don't know how many that was, like between 10 to 15, probably. Um, I don't know what to tell you. With failure comes success, no, but like, I know you're not, you don't, you, listen, the person that made the Dyson, Mr. Dyson, it took him like, what was it, 5,000 tries to get it correctly, to get a vacuum to work without a vacuum bag. It took him 5,000 tries. Like, you can't just, you can't just give up. So, you gotta put hard work in, and uh, if you have an idea, give it your all. And if you don't know how to do something, check YouTube. I mean, everything I learned about business or anything I want to do to like better myself in some way, I learned from YouTube or Google. And the first place I check is YouTube for anything absolutely anything the first thing i check is youtube if i want to learn something <clears throat> and then if i can't find it there for some odd reason then i'll check google as a second source um i know that's probably different for most people unless that's recently changed because google used to be number one for everybody at all times like oh you should google it no you should youtube that and that's just a simple answer you're looking for but yeah if you need a tutorial on anything like Photoshop, I learned everything I know about Photoshop through YouTube. If I need to learn something new about Photoshop, because there's like a million things you can do on that program, I'll check for, I'll check YouTube. Um, same with Adobe Premiere. 
million things you can do on that program. If I don't know how to do something and I want to, I will check the YouTube. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> piano, you bet your ass I'm checking. The only place I've ever learned anything so far is YouTube. Over the past six hours of me practicing the piano, it's all been on YouTube. And probably for the next 92, 93 hours, 94 hours, <laughs> sorry, it's probably going to be YouTube. Like I might print out some, I might print out the major and minor chords, and then, and then, and the, uh, so I'll have that as a reference because I need to learn, because once you learn that, you're good to go. Anyways, going way off track here. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, I'm now at 620 subs, which is kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool because I haven't been releasing that many videos and I want to release more. So I'll, I'll be releasing more. Because um, as you can see, I just released one like yesterday or two days ago. But before that, it was like 40 days before I released that one. So, um, alrighty guys, looks like that's going to be the end of the video. Really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end. Because I know this is uh, a longer video. And uh, people have short attention spans. So if you're not interested in me or what I'm doing, you don't, you probably, you're probably not watching this. But to those of you that are, thank you very much. Um, let me know if you have any retired projects that you no longer work on or anything that you like started but never finished or something like that. I'm pretty intrigued in seeing if anybody else has anything like this. Um, I know I have quite a few failures, but uh, I have a couple success stories as well. So it's kind of cool to see what it took to get here and that kind of thing, right? Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate you guys. And I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.